And that works much better as a lead picture. I don't eat much or take up much space and would love it if you would sing with me. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Well, good morning, you wonderful people, and welcome back to my office. If you're new here, my name is Nick, and I buy stuff, and I sell it on the internet, hopefully to make money, that's the whole idea. Here we are in my office, quick tour. See, they're getting quicker, those tours. Um, so, this week I am on a listing challenge. I'm trying to list as much stuff on eBay as I can for the week along with a bunch of friends and we're all tracking our progress. So I said in my last vlog I would keep you updated. So yesterday I won't give you the actual figures but I had a really really productive day yesterday. Yeah some great numbers and it has resulted in some sales straight away. If you look in here it's looking very very packed because I've been listing loads and squeezing it all in. Um, I'll just show you a few of the highlights of what I listed yesterday. So um, the PS3 uh, was tested and listed, so that is now on, which is good. Um, did loads of books and sets of books. Oh, these have sold already, actually. I'll move those out of the way. Um, Kenwood food processor. Oh, that's sold already as well. Uh, there's a language course. This was cool. And thank you uh, to those who told me who this Pokemon was. And this one. Um, very cool little Texas Instruments calculator um, with its original box. Quite a nice item. Lots of toys and games. This is the really nice Shopard leather um, wallet you may have seen I picked up recently. Um, that's gone on at £200. Yeah, toys and games. Uh, this really cool Russian wooden vodka bottle wooden case thing. <laughs> Um, some vintage PC games. This one has already sold. That's got to be shipped out today. Yeah, all sorts. The Bauer skates are on. They've gone on at uh, 200, I think. So all sorts of stuff. So it is a Wednesday, which means it's a shipping day. Um, I mentioned a couple of things that have sold already. I thought we would pick some orders in this video and also talk about what I'm going to be listing today. The main priority listing wise is going to be the big haul of books I had recently. I've moved some of it, but a lot of it is still up here. These are all Deathlands. Uh, there's like four rows of them here. Um, absolutely loads of those. Pretty sure I'm gonna do one big job lot out of those. And then I've I've picked out a few other bits and I've made a couple of bundles. So all of these came from that same lot. These are more of the Deathlands ones that I'm going to make one huge bundle with all those other bits. Uh, we've got three here from the same author, this James Axler chap. Uh, looks like this is a, a little set of three. Um, there's a, that might be a complete set I don't know there's four there from this Richard A Knack and then there's a bundle here instant bundle of Star Trek stuff so pretty sure I'll do that as a lot I may look these up quickly and just see if there's anything special like individual books wise but chances are that will go on as a bundle as well so listing wise that's where I'm gonna start um, but it's a packaging day, so we need to uh, pick and pack orders first. But before we get on with picking orders, I had a package arrive. I opened it the other day, but inside it has a wrapped gift, which I haven't opened yet. Um, I have since had a message from the sender of this, so I know who it's come from. 
Let me read you the note. It says, Hi Nick, my brother Jeff told me what a lovely time he had when he stayed at your place. You made him feel so welcome. I'm Jeff Lena. I'm assuming Jeff Lena <laughs> is in there. I'm Jeff Lena and I have come to keep you company as I'm sure that you must miss Jeff terribly. I might have to give some context here. Recently I had a, a soft toy that when you pressed him he he talked and um, he appeared in a few videos but then I listed him and he sold to a viewer. <laughs> that was Jeff. Um, I don't eat much or take up much space and would love it if you would sing with me. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> My favourite song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay. I just know that we will be best friends forever. Jay. Okay. So this is what's in the box. So, for those of you that remember Jeff, this is very similar. I don't, maybe the batteries are running out. <laughs> so thank you, Lee, if you are watching. Uh, that did make me laugh and Jeff Lena is in the building. So let's pick some orders. Um, the one that I picked off the shelf just before is the first one on the page. Uh, listed these last night. They are Captain Underpants books. Uh, brand new. Uh, these were actually picked up at a Jumble Trail event and they were free. Well, it was the same stall where we got all of the Deathlands books and all of that. Um, the woman was giving away loads of stuff and we took loads of stuff. So we actually paid for it in the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, out of everything that we paid, these probably owe us about 50p or a pound. Uh, they've gone for £20 uh, free shipping and were listed last night as part of this challenge. Likewise... Um, now, was it in a video? Yes, it was in a video yesterday. I grabbed this, which was hidden away down in the corner. This Sony uh, big subwoofer speaker. I got that listed yesterday and it sold pretty much straight away for 40. So that's got to go out today. Okay, next we've got some little uh, geomag things and the Kenwood. So that's the Kenwood. Right, these I took an offer of £10 for the pair. Nothing amazing there. This I believe is going to a viewer. Um, yes. Hi, Catherine. Thank you so much. Uh, the note on the order says, Smashing Nick, just what I was looking for. You can keep the Nerf gun, though. Yes, there was a bit of a Nerf gun floating around in here when I pulled it off the shelf. Um, good luck in the listing challenge. Thank you very much, Catherine. Um, so this was the Kenwood FP120 that we pulled off the shelf yesterday. Gave it a test, gave it a thorough clean and listed it for 30 and that's gone. Um, the vintage ones tend to hold a bit more value. This is quite a compact, more modern thing. Um, still a high quality item, but as the whole setup, that's gone for £30 free shipping but very happy with that so thank you again Catherine 
that up there. We've then got um, some media. Again, all listed as part of this challenge. We've got Nintendogs and Cats on the 3DS, Sims 3 and The Crown DVDs. Um, so, my video games are stacked up in here at the moment. I can see there's the Nintendogs. And Sims 3, the main game, is there very little value in that these days and then the crown is up here oh i've also sold this one that's gone as well i believe so let's quickly run through these um oh jennifer you're a viewer as well uh the crown is going to jennifer so the recent uh, series of The Crown, well I say recent, last few years. Uh, seasons 1 and 2, I paired those up and they have gone for £10, thanks Jennifer. Um, yeah that's the Nintendogs, uh, went on offer I believe for a fiver. Sims 3 does not hold much value these days, went for £4. Uh, this Hulk, and I have to scroll down, where is it? Um, I think that's going to a viewer as well. I seem to recall getting a message. Uh, so thank you very much for that. That's going to George for £7. So as you can see, the stuff I've been listing as part of this challenge over the last couple of days is flying out. It really is. The next one has a note on it as well. It says, Hi Nick, I'm a long-term subscriber to your channel and have picked up lots of advice from both of you. I've been selling on eBay for over 20 years just for fun and have funded lots of holidays from the money I've made. This game is a prezi for my sister-in-law who has the original size game. Um, that's from Leslie. So this is the Past the Pigs game that I think I showed in a recent video, which is sat here. So this is the big pigs version of Past the Pigs, because normally they are teeny tiny little things. So that's those. Yeah, there's a market for this. If you see it uh, cheap enough, pick it up. Uh, this one is going out for 13 pounds. And thank you so much, Leslie. So then we've got a uh, couple of DVDs. We need Meet Me in St. Louis and Pride and Prejudice. Both are sealed. Okay, so there we go. Two sealed DVDs uh, going off to Anne. That name rings a bell. I think you're a viewer as well and a regular customer. Thank you so much. Um, so more video games. Oh yeah, The Silent Hill. Um, I talked about this game in a couple of videos and I said that they sell for up to £50 and they have done but I went lower because mine had some condition issues um, so I've actually sold mine for 30 and when you look at it um, the case is ripped um, it's not in the best of condition at all but I'm quite happy with that still because I got three games for two pounds but I was happy with a quick sale and in this pretty ropey condition it's mostly the packaging that's the issue with my copy um, very dogged very worn it's got several rips on it but it didn't stick around um, so that's gone out quick um, also sold, I think, from the same pickup, um, GTA San Andreas. Let's grab that. This never sticks around whenever I list it. I remember when we had our shop and this came out, we sold so much of this at launch. It was amazing. Um, now, this one's got one of my little notes on it. The disc is okay, but it just needs a quick polish. It's got some light little scuffs on it. So I'm going to run that through my 
JFJ disc repair machine just for a minute uh, just to bring that up nice and clean before I ship that out. Oh, I mentioned this before. Did I go? No, there it is. So the Quake that still sits there, this sold on offer. This was another one that I mentioned um, sells for about £50, and they do. I listed it. I had very quickly an offer come in of 45 and I just went for it which I think I said in the video yesterday. Anyway, so that is shipping out today. Um, we have also sold some CDs, a couple of Oasis singles and a Ben Howard album and a car part. Let me go and grab those. So I had a stack of Oasis stuff. Um, I bought quite a big bundle in a charity shop. They were having a, a CD clearance. Everything was 10p. And somebody had obviously donated quite a large collection of Oasis stuff, most of which I did as one uh, bundle. Um, there were some duplicates in it, and I have lifted those out and done those as a pair. So this is the classic Don't Look Back in Anger, and this is Whatever. I bought both of these at the time when they came out. <sighs> what a time that was in music. Um... Yeah, not big value. Those have gone for £4. They'll still ship as a large letter. And the Ben Howard album has gone for £4 also. Now we have sold a car part. It's another C number, which is in here. Oops. Uh, in there. So I need to grab the box and hopefully find... What is it? Hyundai Gear Assembly. So, um, should be easy to spot. There it is. It is a single gear, basically. There we go. Nice precision engineered part that somebody has got for a bargain price. And I am very happy to get rid of it. So with the wonders of editing, I'm going to be able to make this pile of stuff package itself when I click my fingers. Here we go. Ta-da! Just like that. But in the space of time that took me to do, we have now had another one, two, three orders. So this Lego figure, it's cabinet 14, which is down here. Uh, it's this guy. It's a little Lego figure. Actually came with a Lego book, as you can see. That's how it was mounted into the cover of the book. And he's gone for, I think that was on at 14. Um, but also, they've also bought a Lego game, which was listed yesterday as well, which is this one. No real value in it. Uh, I think that was listed for a fiver plus shipping. So they are going together, which is cool, for a combined total of 22.27 when you include the shipping. And then this one is nothing amazing. Um, it's Kylie Sing and Dance on the Wii. Even sealed, this holds very little value. That's gone for £6. So I've been totally distracted and forgetting to vlog. I thought I would quickly let you know what I'm listening to because I'm still trying to get into this habit of sharing with you what is on my stereo. Today, I have been listening to Morchiba's Dive Deep. This is a bit of a gem of an album, worth checking out if you can. It's got some amazing collaborations on it. Uh, the Judy Zook tracks on there are amazing. Enjoy the ride, the opener. What an opener to an album. Um, just quickly as well, before I forget, on Saturday, I will be on Rich's channel, so please go and find Night's Life, but Night with a K. 
and uh, sub to Rich over there. If I remember, I'll try and drop a link below. Um, we're going to be doing another Would I Lie to You show on Saturday. So I will be sharing three stories and you have to figure out if they are truths or lies, as does Rich and James. It's going to be fun. Anyway, I have had some progress. I have priced up all of the books. Well, I say all of them. There's a few um, bits and bobs which I can't really make bundles out of left. But let me show you what I'm going to do with everything else. Okay, so these Richard A. Knack books, there's four of them here. They're going on at 12 99 free shipping. Couldn't find much about this Earthblood series, uh, the James Axler ones. Um, but I'm going 15 on the trilogy. Um, see how that goes. The Star Trek ones, uh, very little value really. Um, and they're not in the best of condition. They're okay again. There's a hardback that I'm chucking in, but I'm going to just get 20 quid and hopefully move those quick. Then the big, big lot of these Deathlands. They are in stacks of 10, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. I'm thinking £100 could be achievable, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one big bundle. I think I was tempted to do it in bundles of 10. I've seen somebody do fairly well doing it that way. I don't know. I'll... I'll I'll have a quick think about it, but I'm I'm leaning towards the one listing, hundred quid the lot, get them gone. I was just about to fill up my mail sack with everything that's going out today, and we had another couple of orders. I've already done the Marvel Activision PS2 game, um, so when I picked up the Silent Hill I showed you earlier that sold for thirty, I got three games for two pounds. The other two were Marvel. Uh, X-Men Legends which is just sold for a fiver and the other one is also going today which was the San Andreas I think I showed earlier which went for seven I think so my two pounds um, ended up being 37 42 all in free shipping on those um, but yeah, we've just had an order in with, with a message on which says um, Hi, watch your videos every week and really enjoy them. Keep up the great work. David and Nikki. So I'm just about going to manage to squeeze this in with everything else. We've sold Command and Conquer Red Alert on the PC and Beautiful South Greatest Hits CD. That one. Okay, we got there eventually. So there is the CD. So thank you very much for the order. This will be shipped out today, so you should get it pretty quick. Um, who is it again? David and Nikki. Really appreciate it. So I have gone with all of those as one lot, as I was suggesting earlier. That's how I'm going to do the main picture, just to show all the spines. Seems to work. So that's what the main picture is going to look like. I'll probably do a few, spread a few out as well and get some pictures of a few laid out just for the sake of it. I'll also do some more pictures um, of the spines so people can read all of the issues uh, or all of the individual titles that are in it. I just experimented a little bit and that works much better as a lead picture with a load like face on down the bottom. So I think I'm probably going to go with something like that in the end. And there's the Earthblood, the Dragon Realm, and the Star Trek Bundle. I've had some people asking about these videos. Um, can they be longer? Can I show more of the listing process, the packaging, and more of the detail? The thing with these daily videos is it's a struggle to get them made and you know filmed throughout the day and then edited and out the same day. So they tend to be fairly short, fairly compact videos for that reason. I may try doing a longer format, but it may mean there's longer gaps between videos because the editing and the uploading and all of the stuff that goes around that is quite time consuming. So that's one of the main reasons why these daily ones tend to be kind of short and snappy. 
anyway i'm gonna leave you there on that note um I, as always i will find an old video and pop it up here for you please check that one out if you want to thank you so much for watching i will be back hopefully tomorrow until then bye for now